we do know that uh, you know screen addiction is a, is a real thing. Um, you know, it's, it's, an, it's, it's very natural. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of endorphins that are released when they're playing games. So we know his value is fun. He has a high value of fun. The reason why I know that is because you said it works. <laughs> so he has a high value of fun. So what you want to use in, in a situation like this is if he's motivated by more screen time that works, but you guys want to kind of set some boundaries in the home. And this is where it comes with you as the parent. Now, uh, there's a way to set boundaries. I don't think that um, you wanted to make it where you're, you know, uh, demanding. Say, hey, you get two hours of screen time and that's it. I'm going to encourage you to make it more objective. So I would have a, a conversation with your child and say, listen, I know you're, you're, you're uh, enjoying your video game. Uh, I want you to have fun. In fact, I could tell it's a, you have a high value of fun. I think it's an awesome thing because you're going to have a very amazing life, essentially. But this is true. You know, sometimes as we get become adults, we forget about fun. So I would let him know, like, hey, I, I'm with you on the fun thing. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is the amount of time spending on video games because I read this research, this article, there's a lot of information out there. And I would say, hey, they're recommending that you get two hours of screen time a day. Now, I don't know. Personally, I think you need more than that. What do you think? Ultimately, we need to decide on how much screen time we're going to do for your health. And that way, you know, we can continue moving forward.